Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. I'm in the studio today with Sarah Klein-Stevens, who's attorney at law. And today we're talking all about Medicaid versus Medicare for the elderly. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Now, explain to everyone at home, because I know I get confused, Medicaid versus Medicare. Well, Medicare is something that is offered to almost everyone age 65 or older. Uh, it has no income or asset limits, whereas Medicaid uh, is an entitlement program. It's needs-based. It's offered to the low income, and you must meet certain income and asset limitations in order to qualify for that insurance. Well, how do we find out what those limitations and qualifications are? Well, a lot of times that will be contingent on the circumstances of what you need. Okay. In my practice particularly, this concern comes up regarding skilled nursing care, nursing home care. Right. My clients assume that Medicare will cover their long-term care planning stay, but in reality, Medicare is structured to only cover short-term nursing home stays. It's never going to cover more than 100 days, and there are requirements to make Medicaid, I mean Medicare kick in. Like you normally have to be hospitalized for a certain number of days and be discharged to a skilled care facility with specific rehabilitation instructions. Well, look, as I said at the beginning of the interview, there's a lot of confusion. In your practice, you deal with this. Where does the confusion come from? Why are we getting so much different information on every term? Well, I think part of that's because they sound alike, uh, you know, Medicare and Medicaid. And until you're in a skilled nursing facility situation, maybe you've never even thought about Medicaid before, but um, the cost of that care can be so expensive. You know, if you stay past that 100 days or you do not meet the rehabilitation criteria to continue improving, then you're going to switch to private pay, which can be between $212 to $225 a day locally. Wow which is, you know, it can add up to $8,000 a month, which can be a huge financial strain on your retirement security. Uh, that's just an understatement, right? Sarah, and we said earlier on in, in the commercial break that one of the number one reasons for bankruptcy in America is health. Absolutely. And medical mm -hmm. bills. Been there, done mm -hmm. that. One of our viewers who knew you were coming in wrote a question to us. What happens if I'm discharged from we with rehab instructions but cannot complete the rehab? Right, so what happens is Medicare will stop paying. Uh, if you cannot continue to meet those benchmarks for improvement, you will be switched to a private pay rate if you do not automatically qualify for Medicaid. And Medicaid does not happen automatically. You absolutely must apply and you have to meet the income and asset limits, which um, the asset limits are very different for married couples versus a single individual. I can imagine, yeah. So uh, for a single person, you can only have $4,000 of countable resources. And now countable, that's a term of art. Not everything counts, but a lot of things do. If you're married, the financial picture is a little bit better. The person who needs skilled care, again, can only have $4,000 of countable resources, but the spouse can have over $120,000 of countable resources. But now if both spouses need care, uh, then it's only $6,000 together. So it's not even $4,000 a piece. So it's extremely Sarah, important. Sarah, can we get all this information when we come and see you? Uh, well, I would super, hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a lot to take in, correct? Very quickly, does getting Medicaid benefits mean that you will lose your home? I get that question a lot, and the best way for me to answer that question is it's a qualified maybe or maybe not. Ouch. It's essential for you to be able to take proactive planning steps. There are legal ways for you to protect your home and your homestead, but you have to affirmatively seek those out. You need the advice of a skilled long-term care planning attorney to be able to advise you in a way of how you can put those protections in place. Sarah, as always, great information. We appreciate you. Thank you. If you want to find out more about Medicaid versus Medicare, give Sarah a call, attorney at law. All the information's up on the screen back after this short break.